Hi, I'm Reese with Frugal Repair, and today we're going to fix an instant pot. This thing does not work. My wife picked it up because someone was getting rid of it. And actually, she wants it a working one of these for her birthday, so this is going to be an extra fun project to fix this thing. This is a six-quart instant pot pressure cooker. Uh, you might have a different size if you found this video. The problem with this guy right here is that it has power to the screen and the touch buttons work, but inside the heating element right here, it doesn't heat up. And so it's gonna be a, a very easy fix if you can solder. And if that is not your problem with your Instant Pot and you're watching this, I'll point out a couple of things along the way that should help you get pointed in the right direction. So let's get started. <music> Okay, we flipped over the Instant Pot. They make these things very repairable. I don't know if every model of Instant Pot, this is a Duo 60, I don't know if every one of them is this repairable, but this one is, I love it. Because right here, there's one screw, and you take that out, and then you just twist this cover plate. And then you have access to everything inside of here. So the problem with this Instant Pot, we can't really see it here, it's going to be on the bottom side of this circuit board, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you're going to have a situation where there's no power coming to your unit, there's two things that particularly you would want to check uh, right off the bat. And right here, you can see the power cord come in. It splits into this blue and red wire. If you follow this red wire right here where I'm touching, and it goes to this spot right here on the circuit board, in between those two spots is a thermal cutoff fuse. Uh, you want to check that to make sure that that is still um, there's still continuity between the two points and it's not blown. I put a link in the description below if you want to uh, find a replacement part for that. There's also this fuse right here that you can check to see uh, if it's still good. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, I'd be happy to hear from you. Put them in the comment section below if you want to know what anything else is on this instant pot or you are curious. I would love to help if I can. So the next thing is, is to take off the connections because we have to get to the bottom side of the board. It should be pretty self-explanatory how you pull this, some of these things off. It's going to kind of be a little bit hard for me to show you, but you want to just grab it and you can just pull some of these off, these connectors. These connectors here on the side, they're a little harder. You don't want to pull out, you don't want to pull on the wire itself. You want to pull on the plastic. So you might be able to get your thumb, thumbnail in underneath here and, and kind of pop it up. But you don't want to you don't want to rely on pulling the wires itself. So I got my thumbnail in there and just pulled that off. So you can do that for these and the same for for um, this one down here. You might need to take the screws out. See there's two screws on either side here. Take those out in case you're having trouble getting your fingers down in here like me. That might be a little tight. Um, but if you get those screws out and you get the rest of these disconnected, then you can pull that guy out and then you'll have access to the bottom side of the board. All right, we got all the connections out. Let's flip the board over. This is the problem spot right here. As I zoom in in a photo, you can see that there's something wrong with this connection. There's a black area around that pole, and it actually should look like this, but it doesn't. And that black area is where the solder has cracked, and there's no electrical connection anymore. And so in order to fix it, we need to fill that back in with solder. Now, to get this board out of this area here, you can't, you could unsolder these out of here, but it's actually much easier just to go over here and unscrew these and pop it out. Just uh, don't lose the screws. So the first thing we need to do is fix this solder joint. You can see the crack all around where the pin is to that relay. All of that black stuff should actually be silver looking. And so in order to do that, I'm going to first add some flux. I'll put a link in the description below to what this stuff is and some of the tools that I use or you could use if you don't have a soldering iron. Um, but this flux helps the process of the, uh, the metals to flow together uh, better. So the soldering iron is up to temperature now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right on that flux and melt away um, everything around that pin to try to... to get that solder that's already on the board melted. And then I'm gonna put my fresh solder, it's lead free, which has a higher melting point than leaded solder. I'm gonna put it right in that joint and try to get a 
a rounded uh, solder, uh, rounded solder shape around that pin. And so I'm trying to heat it all up here. And I don't know if you can notice, but there's a little like a bubbling action happening. There's there's some kind of uh, protective coating that's on the bottom side of this board. I'm not really sure what it is, but um, just getting the solder in there, make sure everything's heated up and you want a nice rounded shape around that pin. So after I turned my camera off, I realized that there was a spot, there was a joint that was open a little bit. So I went back with the soldering iron and touched it up just briefly. And you can see I have a nice round shape around that pin. Now, what I also need to do before I test it is I need to clean off that flux with like a toothbrush and some isopropyl alcohol just to get that old flux residue off of there. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. I put everything back together. The pot has been sitting in a cold room. And so you can see there, I have my iPhone hooked up to a thermal imaging camera. It says 57 degrees. So let's uh, go ahead and see if it actually uh, will heat up now. Put it down to one minute. And then we have to wait a few seconds before it clicks to the on position. My wife is gonna be very happy about this if it works. Okay, it's on. So let's look at the temperature. And you can see it is indeed heating up. So we fixed the Instant Pot. If you would like to learn how to fix other things around your house, save money, do it yourself, or maybe just learn something cool, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to teach you. And again, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Thank you.